Check out Strictly Street on YouTube, hell yeah, bro. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I got a new video for y'all. So, today, we are here in San Antonio at the drag strip, and uh, we're gonna see what the car can do. Um, one thing I want to go ahead and throw out there from the very beginning we did some data logs uh, Wednesday night, and the car is not happy. The tune is not looking really all that good right now. Same tune that I've always been on, but what we saw last night basically, the car's pulling a bunch of timing. So, we're down a decent amount of power, honestly. We're probably down like 20 wheel, which is a lot for a little bolt-on car, so. But we're still gonna run. Nonetheless, we're gonna see what we could do. I'm on the Ford Stars tonight. Uh, I wanted to run the Ford Stars because that would be uh, more of a similar comparison between weight as far as the Ford Stars and the Race Stars go. So that'll kind of give me a better, a better idea on how much the brakes actually helped. And so we'll just, that's why I wanted to come on the Ford Stars. We'll just see what the car could do. I do have the hood off. So we're gonna run with the hood off. Hopefully that'll help as far as temps go. But I'm excited. Hopefully we can, I'm not expecting to break the bolt-on stock converter record tonight, but uh, if I do, that would be awesome. And if I do break it tonight, then once we get the tune straightened out, I know we're gonna do extremely well and we'll probably run significantly faster. Most likely run probably another tenth, two tenths faster, probably pretty easily. Uh, just a bolt-on F-150 with a 5.0. So 
uh, he wants me to tr maybe try to drive it and see if he can uh, get, you know, see if the truck can get its first 11 second pass. So we'll see here in a bit. Much better than I expected. 
I was not expecting to set a personal best tonight, honestly, because the prep is pretty bad. So I had to stall it and um, somehow managed to get a new personal best. So there you go. Alright guys, so right now I'm in a 10 speed um, 5.0 F-150 and so this is this is a guy from San Antonio's truck. He wanted me to drive it because he wanted, um, he really wanted this truck to run an 11. So I made my first pass in this truck. Never, never driven one of these before in my life. He just kind of told me how he launches it and I launched it that way and we ran an 11 pass, 11 second pass. So. This thing, honestly, is just a bolt-on 5.0 truck. This thing is pretty fucking quick. Uh, I was really surprised. It, it left pretty damn hard. It goes through all the gears, like, really fast. Like, the 10-speed is pretty cool. But yeah, honestly, this is a really fun truck to drive. And this low-key makes me want to get a truck because this shit was fun. I'm going to see. I'm going to try to get him to send me the videos. That way I can add it into my video as well because uh, he is recorded from the outside. But uh, I'm gonna let the turn the truck off, let it cool off a little bit, and then we're gonna make some passes. Uh, one more pass, actually. So we made two passes in the um, in the 50 F150, and uh, first pass was an 11 second pass. His next pass was like a 1202. So didn't get to back it up with back to back 11 second passes, but um, but you know the owner did get his 11 second slip, so he was super happy about that. And honestly, driving that truck was pretty damn fun. It left like really hard, and the shifts like the super fast shifts. It was pretty. It's a weird experience, completely different from my car, but honestly, it was so fun to drive. Like I would love to do that again because that truck is honestly really fun to drive, and it's way quicker than I was expecting. It like, literally, it's almost like when my car dead hooks. Like it literally just throws you back. It's pretty crazy, especially out of a full size truck like that. But um, but yeah, overall, just a fun night, and you know, ran a decent time in my car considering that we couldn't flash a converter and then we got to help someone else out and um, then get his 11 second slip. So overall, it was a pretty successful night. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for tonight. We set a new personal best, uh, 1076, and we stalled the card, couldn't even flash a converter on that pass, and so we still broke a new personal best. We're probably gonna go to the track again tomorrow, but we're gonna go to Little River, we're gonna put the billet specialties on, and um, I think we could probably run a 106, honestly. Especially if we could flash a converter, I'm pretty positive we'll at least run a 10.6. Um, so, like I said, the, the car honestly is pulling power right now too. So, I feel like once we get the tune straightened out, we're probably going to run pretty dang fast. Car trapped 127, so that's better than, you know, previously. And, um, you know, we may be able to squeeze 128 out of it if we can actually flash a converter. But um, I got about a two hour drive back home. So I gotta hit the road, and then we're gonna wake up in the morning, change the wheels, and then head to uh, head to Little River and see what we can run over there. 
So anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video. If y'all did, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video.